<sighs> More scare bullshit from TV licensing. So it turns out now that the BBC iPlayer thing that they have put on their new list, if you haven't seen my new video about um, the iPlayer, uh, how they how I predicted it was only going to be the iPlayer, well, I didn't know they predicted it, someone else did, um, you know, watch that now. But apparently I've seen a an article on the TV licensing resistance website or some shit like that. And apparently, they're now getting Wi-Fi detectors out to detect people watching the iPlayer. So, have they given up with the live signals, you know? Or are they just getting after the people with iPlayer? You see, what's happened here is the BBC have realised that the iPlayer is such a get out clause. Got but hurt, started saying that's part of the charge of the TV licensing. And then made some more bullshit up by stating that there's such a thing as the BBC iPlayer vans. If they can search all they want with me. I've got zero to hide. I only use ITV uh, Player. I only use 4OD. I don't watch any live signals. I don't use your shite player. You can try whatever the fuck you want. But yet again, you won't know who the hell's living in the place anyway. You won't be able to get in because the doors are completely shut. And they're completely locked. So no paedophiles can get through. Known as you fucking cunts. Known as TV licensing. And what I recommend for you guys now is. Delete your iPlayer. You know, just get rid of the iPlayer. Just don't bother. Because if they if these detectors actually exist. Because they could be talking out their ass. Or they could be actually telling the truth for a change, which I doubt they are, which is a 90% saying no to this sort of shit. You know that they will be lying through their asses just to get your... So I would recommend that you guys get rid of the iPlayer just in case, and if there isn't, just continue watching what the fuck you want. <laughs> That's what I have to really say. They can search people they want through Wi-Fi, but there's a problem, and it is A, people use mostly LAN connections, you know, uh, let me give you an example. This connection right here, that connects to their PC and straight to their router, which means their router doesn't have a Wi-Fi signal, which defeats the object of um, TV licensing, which is where they can go wrong again. As I stated, I don't think I've stated it already, but you can watch TV, live TV online, um, without an aerial so them looking for aerials has backfired and them trying to state that oh we can detect it through um, your wireless well there is a couple of situations you can do and that is either delete the iPlayer or if you're feeling a bit more over the edge to danger if you know what I mean then switch to the LAN connector and keep watching iPlayer do what you want I don't, I don't recommend it low because um, who knows. But I do have a Wi-Fi connection on, on my house. Only for the phones and such. But <clears throat> I do not watch the iPlayer so they can, they can track me all they want. But they're not going to get no money no matter what they find. They're going to have to actually prove that I am watching the iPlayer. And actually prove... That I am not innocent of this shit. As I said, I don't watch the iPlayer anymore. I got rid of it it's, uh, straight away. You saw it on the video. I deleted my iPlayer on all the Roku devices I know. Um, I deleted it off a crappy little netbook thing. And um, yeah, I could you know go on the website anytime I want, but I don't. I don't go on iPlayer. I don't like iPlayer. iPlayer is crap. Um, the only thing I watch is ITV and 4OD. And uh, that's about it. I don't watch live signals. I don't watch your shitty iPlayer. So my best advice for this one is, is if you don't want to take this bullshit and you still want to watch iPlayer, then go ahead. 
do it this way. I don't know why the BBC didn't just make it as a subscription service anyway. That would make more sense for the iPlayer, but nope. Always death threats. Why, oh why, BBC? Do you like death threats? I thought you were supposed to stop this through, you know, Watchdog and all that crap. You know, saying that how bad people are like Southern Electric for knocking and smashing people's doors. We are no fucking different to you licensing. You're as scummy as them, Fox. So, basically, delete iPlayer, or if not, delete iPlayer. Go through the method I told you. Turn off the Wi-Fi, use LAN cables. Many uh, Roku devices still have a LAN connector, I believe. Oh no, it's not that, it's a different one. Um, another problem is, is a lot of people don't even have a you know, Wi-Fi connection that is stuck, slap band or broadband. A lot of people have these. Wi-Fi things, you know, these are a Wi-Fi thing, you know, mobile Wi-Fi. So with lots of Wi-Fi connections around, it's going to be very difficult for them to detect it and actually say that you're doing bad. <clears throat> also, if you see one of the scummy fucks outside, just turn off your Wi-Fi. Simple as that. They can't prove nothing. Anyway, I think they're just getting more scummy as the days go on. It's just for iPlayer. And uh, this is also giving me more opportunities to um, TV licensing. I'm getting more money again because that means I've got to see your diarrhea toilet paper. Yet again, making more TV licensing videos, including the shite player thing on this, you know, letter. <laughs> yeah, you lot are fucked up. I don't like TV licensing one bit, as you could tell, but so that's my simple advice. That's all I can really say. Don't watch live signals or I play. I will be making a new video on that anyway. How to dodge it. It's not exactly dodging. It's just getting away from the bullshit. The lies, if you will. And to, um, you know, save up for whatever you want to save up with. For that £145. And if it goes up, that means you're even more. Which means that you, you're more in the money than they are. Because you're not paying it. Anyway, cheerio.